Essentially, every place on Earth is colonized by bacteria. Your immune system, your ability to resist certain pathogens, or your ability to process nutrients, those all rely on bacteria as well. The more antibiotics we use, the greater the pressure on the bacteria to become resistant to it because they also want to survive and flourish. It becomes a kind of evolutionary race, right? Like an arms race. And when antibiotic resistance reaches a level where common infections can no longer be so easily treated, medical procedures like transplants, surgeries, and chemotherapy will be at much higher risk Cockroaches, they have been here for more than 300 million years. These species have been so successful in adapting and evolving, they must have some, something, some molecules in them to protect them against infectious diseases. We dissected all parts of cockroaches and surprisingly, Instead of gut or muscles or even the blood, which is known as hemolymph for cockroaches, we found more powerful antibacterial activity in the brains of cockroaches. Just less than five micrograms of cockroach brain lysate was able to kill more than one million superbugs completely. 100% kill rate. We've tested them against a range of different kinds of human cells. And none of these molecules were toxic to human cells. They were only proving very potent against bacteria. And if you look around you, we can take a drop of that water, we can dig a little bit in that soil, and I'm pretty sure we'll find bacteriophages. Phages and bacteria have co-evolved for eons. When bacteria will develop resistance to phages, phages will also evolve. When you use antibiotics, it's the equivalent of a carpet bombing. You kill all bacteria indiscriminately, including the very good bacteria. Bacteriophages are like a sniper shot. They only infect and kill a very specific bacteria, and they leave the good bacteria intact and unaffected. We're really heading towards a more or less pre-antibiotic era, where none of the antibiotics will be effective if we do not come up with novel antibacterials.